In today's lesson, we're going to build strategies using a different time frame constructed from the same data. We're going to build trend following strategies on the USD yen using four hours bars. Then we'll use multiple in sample and out of sample method. Most probably you're used to 80 20, meaning 80 20 percent in sample and 20 percent out of sample. Then we will filter and rank strategies using multiple logic operators. After we have our bank of strategies, we'll move to first robustness testing, which is testing using the unseen part uh, of the data using the same logic. And then we'll filter and rank on different criteria from the original test. Then you will use different data bank to separate the successful strategies so as to keep both the unsuccessful and the successful separated. Hello traders, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do robustness testing. So as you can see, I've already started building US dollar yen trend following strategy. Twenty five hundred strategies, and so far we have around a thousand. So I'm going to stop it now. We have one thousand twenty nine strategies. These are based on these conditions: net profit of in samples more than five hundred dollars, number of trades of in sample is fifty or more than fifty, net profit of out of sample is eighty percent of 500. So whatever you put here, it will be 80%. In this case, it will be $400. Return to drawdown ratio of out of sample is more than one. Number of trades of out of sample more than 40. And stability is 0.8. As you remember last time, stability is basically the curve tendiness to go up. Although the date is up to 2020, February 18, I picked 2004 to roughly uh, end of uh, 2008. I put the spread at 2. It is less than 2, but you know, to be on the safe side. And in this case, I took this default, which is 10 in sample out of sample periods divided equally. What this mean is so let's say we pick, you know, a strategy. And then, so this is in sample. The program will train here and test here, train here and test here, train here and test here. And this is happening at once. So it will train on, it will attach this part with this part with this part, and it will make one data continuous. And then it will add these parts and then test the data again. So this is very good way to test. Uh, in, in my view, it is better than the normal data, which is 80% uh, in sample and 20% out of sample. Because in this case, you will catch many more market uh, regimes. So first thing, now that I have this bank of more than 1,000 strategies, I'm going to take them all to the retester. So we click on retest. We're going to apply the current configuration, which is the trend following configuration, or whatever you picked. It will copy that to the tester. And then I'm going to keep all these strategies here just in case. I'm going to say keep the original. So basically what I have now is a copy of all these strategies in here. This is the builder, and all these strategies now are copied to the tester. Now, another nice feature is you can create a new data bank, and let's say a full data test. So when we test now, we're not going to delete the strategies right away. We're going to move the successful strategies right away to the full data test bank. And so we can do this 
this is the progress area. So we're testing MetaTrader 4, USD on H4. This H4, by the way, is built from the M1, meaning we're, we're build the strategy on four hours bars. And this four hour bar, each four hour bar is built out of the one minute bar. And we're gonna move the strategies to the full data test. Okay, so now the failing strategies, I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to delete it. Here, only the successful strategies will be transferred. And the advantage is you can go back and do other tests on all the strategies again without losing them, without the need to copy them again from here. Okay. So first test we're going to do is, remember, all these strategies were successful on these rank, but on data that is up to 2008. So first thing, first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to retest on roughly all data. I'm going to leave one and a half, 1 1.2 years uh, as end of sample. So we're going to end at uh, December 31st, 2018, and we, we're going to leave one year and a couple of months as out of sample. Now, we don't need an out of sample here. We're going to test all the data. Yes, we, we're done with the logic. We just want to now test if this logic is going to work on the unseen uh, part of the data. There's no in sample and out of sample, so these, they don't work anymore, yes, because they have in sample and out of sample. What we're looking now is only in sample profitability. So we want profit factor, return to drawdown ratio, and net profit. So net profit for the full sample, all of them for full sample, and return to drawdown ratio more than three the net profit is so let's put it at three thousand and profit factor 1.3 and stability as 0.8 so now we're saying okay we're going to test all data available same logic as before we're not touching the logic we just want to see if it's going to pass this criteria same automatic filters if it's no trace, take it out. If it's too many open trace, take it out. Zero duration and so forth. And we're building based on net profit. And then, of course, all this was copied from the previous logic, which was in here. We go back to the tester. And then once we set all the data, we set our ranking. We're going to test based on these variables. But now we want to delete the failed strategies from data bank. Why? Because we're going to transfer to full data test. So this new bank will only have the successful strategies because we're asking to delete the failed strategies. So it, this data bank will stay the same, but this one will only carry the successful strategies. So let's go ahead and start. So as you, you see, the strategies here will not be touched, it will stay. And then here, only successful strategies that are passed will be kept. And this is a very useful strategy once we go into custom projects, because at the end of the day, the software is here to help you uh, save time. And when you, you can automate the whole process. You can automate everything, save it as a project, click start, go to sleep, wake up the next day, have your breakfast, go to work, come back from work and see what's happening. Or you can leave it on all the time. Basically, it will, it will be a workhorse for you working 24 hours a day. 
1023 strategies failed and only six passed that means out of the 1000 uh, plus uh, 29 strategies that we have here only six passed those simple filter this one obviously all of them are beautiful strategies making new high all the time And remember, we still have 14 months that the computer didn't see yet. Now, these strategies, by the way, are very simple. Like, I don't know what is it, but let's check it out. So, long entry signal, it's a MACD. And long exit signal, uh, linear regression. They are very simple strategies. So, this is the equity chart. Trade analysis. It's long and short, it's profitable all days, all months, almost all years. You have only three years down. And if we bring up daily chart, you can see that the market was up, the market was down, market was up, market is down, and strategy is performing on all of them. And if we bring the volatility, volatility is normal, spiked up, we still make money, go down, we still make money spike up we make even more money so a strategy performing in all market regimes this is the first step in our robustness testing which is basically a strategy with the same logic has to pass the maximum amount of data that we can give that has multiple market regimes this concludes the first part of robustness testing in tomorrow's video we're going to go over the rest of the robustness testing methods available. Stay positive and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.